Well, that, that's a great segue, Nate, because I want to talk next about all the releases in WWE lately. Uh, there have been uh, two flurries of them in the past month or so. The biggest name released by WWE being John Morrison and some mm -hmm. promising young guys like uh, like Keith Lee and Hit Row, uh, Tegan Knox among the women. Uh, what's your take on WWE having releases on the regular? Uh, I, I hate to see anybody lose their job, but uh, by the same token, I'm not sure everybody is meant to be on big time TV for wrestling. Uh, to quote Judge Smales from Caddyshack, the world needs ditch diggers too. And I don't say that lightly because we're talking about somebody's life. But, uh, you know, when, when wrestling got rid of me, I went to radio. I mean, it's not well, for everybody. Here, here, here's the problem, Mark, is th they're being scrutinized for making a business decision. Nobody talks about the number of people the airlines laid off. Nobody talks about the number of lawyers that get laid off on a big firms. It's just wrestling because that's what you and I pay attention to. You know, it's not unusual for major companies to make to make cuts for a budget. Well, and, and Nate, even, it's also, even, beg your pardon? Also by comparison, AEW just keeps hiring and hiring and hiring and never fires. So that puts WWE in a bad light by comparison. Well, but here's the situation. That, that who is the bad light? The bad light are the people that aren't going to like you or your my show because they don't like you or don't like me, right? And what's not to like to like? I know what I'm talking about. You know what you're talking about. There's still going to be people that say, ah, bullshit. My <laughs> answer to them is bullshit. If you're better than me, tell me about it. You're not. You won't be. You never have been. And you're never going to be. And Mark Madden has been doing this for 30 years from everywhere to ESPN to uh, everywhere, wherever Mark's been. WCW, iHeartMedia, Tribune and, Review. And, 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 and Mark Madden does not need this podcast to make a living either. Okay? We're uh, just yeah, having fun. Yeah, but it's fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and we're having fun and we're, and we're not bullshitting anybody. If I right. tell you what's going on, everything I've just told you is the God's honest truth. Well, stay, staying with the cuts. Why isn't there a wrestler's union? Because I, I kind of chuckle when I go on Twitter and I see a lot of wrestlers complaining about how unfair it is these people got cut. And again, I empathize, but if you are looking for fair, wrestling's not the door you want to knock on. And I just don't think a wrestler's union has ever been even... I can't remember the last time it was even considered. I mean... I was what, up because they, they wanted me to walk away from Crockett and they wanted Hulk to walk away from... Uh... And then the two of us go, say, we're not going to perform anymore. You know how long we would have been employed? Probably about, maybe that would have lasted about a week. It doesn't work like that. And by the way, the WWE might as well, they, they take care of their guys. I mean, they get medical treatment if you get hurt in the ring. But we'll not, if something happens outside the ring, that's their responsibility. But sooner or later, you're going to have to have... Um, you know, you, you put together your own pension. You, you, you learn. Me, I wish I'd, you know, been a lot smarter with my money. But I think in a way it forced you to be smarter with the way you handle your money. Um, with the kids, are, if they slow down, they ramp down, they watch what they're doing. And eventually, the umbrella is not going to be there. So I, 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 I'm, I, the way WWE runs it now, and I'm sure Tony does the same thing, you get hurt in the ring, they, they'll pay you. You go to the hospital, they'll pay you. If you're off, they're going to pay you. They have guaranteed contracts. Now, when the union was needed, was back when I started the business. When if you didn't go to work, you didn't get paid. You know, no, like no said, matter what the I reason. Made, I, I, you and I made more money last week, our first week out of the shoot, than I made my first year in wrestling. 64 grand. Come on. Now, of the... Life has changed, right? Oh, no question. No and question. That, and that was driving 4,000 miles a week. Well, Nate, I, I've been in unions. Oh, woo! I've been in unions in my profession. I've been, you know, worked at jobs where I don't have a union. And I am not anti-union by any means, but it takes a lot of sacrifice and selflessness to start one. And that's just not the way wrestlers are. That's just not the way the business is. It's a very individual business. But uh, of, the, of the wrestlers who got released, obviously John Morrison was the biggest name. Uh, I imagine he's going to turn up somewhere in pretty short order. Uh, is there anybody else on that list that, that really strikes your fancy or what do you think is going to happen with Morrison? Well, I know John, you know, for a long time, he was with, uh, 
um, with on Nitro for a while. And, um, you know, I just think he, he's got a lot of talent, but he, I think John has, does well out in Hollywood and does stuff like, um, I mean, like I would just spend some time when I went to visit AEW with um, Shavico, uh, Chavo Jr., right? Right, Chavo you Guerrero. Know where he is right now? He, he, he does all the stuff for the Rock's uh, movies. Right, young, no, Young Rock. He's the wrestling advisor, yeah, the consultant yeah, exactly. I mean, for the TV series Young good, Rock. If they have found outside, they've some, they have found ways to create income for themselves outside of the business. Like when I had, one of the reasons that I was able to hang in there when Bischoff was, and I, and I was, when he, when he sued me all that, is I had 10 gold gyms. And I had gyms when you could make money with them. And I did, a lot of money which allowed me to fight that lawsuit for a year. But after a while, it's either stay in the lawsuit, get a guaranteed win, because Turner never, never won anything. They paid everybody or go back to work. And when Vince called me and said, you want to come? I said, oh God, please. Yes, you'll never wrestle again. Just talk, okay. <laughs> well, it's funny. It's funny you mentioned John Morrison in Hollywood because the same actually applies to his wife, uh, Taya Valkyrie, yeah. who got released by WWE. And, and, and I think they're going to be okay. I don't think they have to wrestle ever again if no. they don't want to. But like we've talked about early in the show, people always want to. Uh, I, I would like John Morrison to be my body double if I go to Israel. <laughs> <laughs>